August 17, 2022. On the road to New Mexico visits Route 66 murals, Albuquerque. Central Avenue runs straight through Albuquerque, from the Tejeras Mountains in the east, all the way to Coors Boulevard on the west side of town and beyond. Central Avenue used to be part of Route 66, and there are still a few relics from that time that still exist along Central today. There are a few hotels along Central that have been rechristened historic buildings, and a few more modern restaurants that serve burgers and fries and thick shakes that used to be staples along the Route 66 in the 1950s. Route 66 started in 1926 in Chicago and ran from the Windy City all the way to Los Angeles, ending not far from the Santa Monica Pier. It connected a lot of little towns across eight states and made it quicker and easier to get from one side of the country to the other after automobiles became the major transportation mode. Route 66 was decommissioned in 1985 and replaced with four-lane highways that were safer and could carry heavier loads. On the east side of Central, by the Home Depot at Eubank and Central, a new building has been added to the Route 66 history. It is called Luminaria, Senior Community Apartments, for those that qualify by being over 55 and not making too much money. The buildings are not particularly attractive on the outside, but the place provides housing to a population that needs affordable housing in an America that is becoming increasingly unaffordable. On the road in New Mexico drives this part of Central often, often stopping at the Home Depot or at the Golden Pride restaurant just down the street for a burrito, a fried chicken, or a frontier roll swimming in butter. Recently, we came upon a beautiful set of murals being painted on the north side of the new Luminaria buildings. We stopped and talked with Molly, the creator and artist of the project, and enjoyed watching her bring it to life like a desert flower budding after morning rain. This Route 66 mural was commissioned for her, and it is, we discovered, one of several dozen projects she has done in Albuquerque recently. It takes her several months to design and plan and paint an original canvas of what the project will look like on the walls, get it approved and funded, and then weeks to actually come on site and start adding paint to the stucco walls. Over several weeks, we drove past the project and came to love the energy it brings to the place. The work in progress brought sightseers, well-wishers, and the curious, and Molly is always good about answering questions while she works. She does the painting freehand with latex paints and all sizes of brushes, and she doesn't leave a mess like most painters. When the project was all done, we had a new piece of art in our neighborhood that celebrated the Southwest, our Southwest culture, Route 66, and artifacts from our American past. One doesn't think of stucco walls as canvases, but what was painted on the stucco here is definitely art for everyone to see, enjoy, talk about, and critique. There's no charge to see the murals and no time of day or night that you can't stand in front of them and enjoy the horses, the signs, the cars, the highway, and the memories of a time gone by. When you were in the area, stop by and enjoy the two murals, each one a little different, but definitely created by the same person. It was great fun to watch boring gray walls turn into colorful murals that hint at the past and the future at the same time. Our hat goes off to Molly, who showed up for days and patiently made her original design and conception come to life. If you need to contact the artist, she has left her card on the wall, Molly Mendenhall, at Four Moons Art Farm. She has an Etsy account under her name, and you can leave a message there. We expect she is busy planning her next mural somewhere on this planet, and maybe even out of this solar system. It is great to see a project start from nothing and be taken to something. Too many times these days, all we get is talk and no do. On the road in New Mexico, gets to see murals daily, and our thanks go to the artist and those who commissioned her to do the work. We at On the Road... Love the medium and the message of this project. I urge everyone to drive by, maybe park, get out of your vehicle and look closely at the attention to de details it takes to pull this off. Route 66 might have shut down, but it sure isn't going anywhere soon. These murals remind us that getting up and finding yourself a new reason to get up in the morning is as American as apple pie. <laughs>